Hello everybody, I'm Daniela Ferretti, PhD student at the Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry and this course is planned to introduce you how to run a data set in MaxWant. I will uh, show you taking for example, the first one will be a DDA data set with a SALAC quantification, the second, second one DDA data set with an LFQ quantification, so labor free, the third one DDA data set with a TMT quantification and the fourth one an LFQ quantification but with a TIMS DDA data set. After that, uh, I will show you how to continue a data set uh, that it was started and then stopped in MaxWant, so what we call the spatial processing, and uh, that's it. So let's start with the first, uh, first example, SALAC quantification. So let me show you, uh, let's, so let's start with uh, MaxWant. So let's start with the first example, so the DDS data set with a SALAC quantification. First, uh, we need uh, to open uh, MaxWant that we have in our folder here, MaxWant. And uh, just to open MaxWant, just double click on the X, X in the application. Okay, and we have MaxWant. If we want to open again uh, MaxWant, what we can do is that, uh, the, uh, so another run, another um, yeah, another process, so we can uh, double click uh, again uh, to the application or we can just uh, click with the uh, uh, mouse, the uh, right, right click of the mouse here on the icon and click in MaxWant GUI, up to you, it's both of them uh, work. So now we have MaxWant and what we need first is to load the raw data. Uh, we can do that clicking on load or load folder. Load means that we will load uh, the raw data ma uh, manually, so we will select uh, directly the raw data. Load folder means that we will specify the, di uh, the directory of the folder where uh, raw data, the raw data is. So uh, we will say the, uh, the folder, max want we will read the folder and they will uh, detect uh, the raw data and the, it will upload directly here. For now, for this example, that is the SALA quantification, I will just click on load and go to my folder where I have my uh, raw data. For the SALA quantification, I have two raw data. I select these two, open, and they are here, just very simple. So what we can do now is that first uh, double check if uh, MaxWant recognizes correctly our raw data. We can do that checking uh, uh, these uh, three uh, columns, exist, sites, and data format. Exist is just a boolean, true or false. True means that MaxWant recognizes your raw data, so he knows where it is. Uh, data format, the format of uh, your data, here uh, thermal raw data, and then the sites uh, that uh, uh, it uh, correspond to the uh, sites of your uh, raw data. So if this one uh, uh, is recognized correctly, we can go through uh, to the other columns, so to the, to the parameters that we have uh, to uh, select manually. Uh, so we have uh, parameter group, experiment, fraction, PTM, and reference channel. Let's start with the first one. Parameter groups means that uh, we can define more groups depending on uh, um, the different uh, configuration that we want to do. With configuration, I want to say that, let's say we have um, uh, 10 raw data, five of them are, uh, uh, um, it's an experiment uh, uh, quantified with an LFQ quantification, and the other five with a TMT quantification, but I want to run uh, uh, both of them together in, a, in a one max one run. What I can do is that uh, select with, uh, for five of them uh, one group, uh, that it will be the default one, group zero, and uh, for the set one, uh, group uh, one, so the, for example, the TMT one. So that I will do in the other section, group specific, uh, specific parameters, the configuration specific for the group. Another situation could be that maybe I have the same quantification, for 10 raw data, but uh, so I have, uh, for example, uh, always LFQ quantification, but uh, I have to s change uh, some modification uh, for my quantification. So I have to change other parameters, uh, parameters in this uh, section 
that uh, is different uh, between uh, some, uh, some raw data. Uh, it's possible to do that, so just always uh, uh, select the uh, raw data. So for example, let's say that this one, the group zero is one group, uh, and we want to say for the second another group, uh, we just click in set parameter group, group one, and we are here it is, and we have two groups. And here it will appear the two groups, group zero and group one. Now we, uh, we have uh, just only one quantification, one experiment uh, with all uh, the parameters will be um, always the same. So we will just set uh, as experiment just only one, the default one, group zero, and there it is. The next, uh, and the next column is labeled ex as experiment. Experiment means that your set of experiments that you have in your uh, data set, in your experimental design. Here it's important to say that uh, what you will, um, you will put here, so how you will label this set of experiments, let's say for now set one, for the first one, and for the second one set two, these two are important because Maxwell will re recognize that, okay, we use the same quantification for here for both of them, for these two raw data, but the first one is one experiment, and the second one a second one. So wh wh what I will see, for example, in the Maxwell uh, output, for example, the, 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 um, the most used protein groups is that this is a silent quantification. I will see uh, for the intensity, light and uh, heavy labels, for example, I will have one uh, light table for set one and another one for the set two. And also in the evidence file, uh, when you will open in the experiment column, you will see th this set of experiments. If you have just only one, like uh, if you have just only one, so I have for the second one, but always set one, you will have uh, just only one intensity for the light uh, label and uh, another one, uh, set one, uh, for the heavy label. You can also uh, don't say the experiment in, the in, the, in this case because you can say, okay, uh, I don't have uh, more, more than one experiment, so I don't need uh, to uh, define uh, the experiment. What Max Wante will do is that uh, if here you don't uh, specify the experiment, it will label uh, your, in your output uh, your experiment as no experiment. We don't such, uh, suggest to do that, so if you, even if you have just only one experiment, uh, uh, it's better always to label so that you recognize uh, uh, the set of experiments that you use. Maybe then in, the, in your analysis that you will do later, you will compare this data set with others, so it's always better to define all specification that is possible uh, to say already right now, just at the beginning. So, uh, in this case, with this uh, example, we have uh, two set of experiments, so we we'll put it back as set one and set two. Let's go to the fraction. Fraction is uh, where we have in our experimental design uh, the fraction. So what we will uh, do that in case we have fraction, just uh, set fraction, one, two, and so on, and press OK. In this case, we don't have fraction, so we will not do that. And uh, we will keep as it is. Next column is labeled as PTM. This column uh, is when you specify if uh, your data s in your data set is included uh, PTM. So such kind of the data set like uh, phospho data set. In this, in this example, we don't have uh, such kind of situation, but we don't have in general in this course in this video, but we provide another video about that. Uh, that is called the PTM and uh, that you can find in, this uh, in the same YouTube channel where uh, we showed uh, um, a Maxwell process or uh, how to process uh, a, dat a PTM data set in Maxwell. So if you have uh, such kind of situation, uh, please have a look to, to that video. Then uh, we have the last uh, column uh, that is labeled as reference channel. This column is specified in such kind of situation where you have uh, TMT quantification. For now, because we have a silent quantification, we will not use uh, uh, this uh, uh, section, so we can keep it empty. 
Now we can go to group specific parameters. We have one group, so because we have one quantification with all the same uh, um, uh, parameters that we, that we need to specify. So just group zero. Type. Type is where we, can, uh, where we define the quantification. For Silac, we, we can just keep a standard. But as uh, multiplicity, we need to specify uh, as two when we have labels as lightly labels and heavy labels, free if you have also the so if we have also the medium one. When you have a silent quantification, never specify a one because uh, one means that you have no labels. So, so it means a label free, uh, so a label uh, free quantification. This is a silent exactly the opposite. So. And in these experiments, we needed the light and heavy labels, so I select at, uh, as multiplicity as two. And uh, we don't need it, uh, we don't have any light labels, uh, so no checkbox here. But for the heavy labels, we have RG10 and lies it. Modification, we keep for our experiment the default that are already here, but you can include the ones that you need. That you need. This is also depending on your uh, um, data set or your experimental design. Instrument, uh, the, uh, it's orbitrap, so we can take as it is. Here we don't need uh, to do any kind of modification or for the first search because it's just a really, really simple basic quanti uh, SALA quantification. Here we can, uh, for the digestion, we can use uh, semi-specific, specific, uh, unspecific, but for us uh, we can keep as it is, so um, specific using uh, as enzyme uh, trypsin. No labor free, so be careful about this section. So we are uh, we have SILAC, so this one has to uh, we need to keep it as none. And there it is, because and that's it, because these others like isobaric weight exponents, it, it's uh, specific for other quantification, so we don't need to change it uh, for uh, SILAC quantification. So let's go to the next one: global pa uh, parameters. In global parameters, we need first to specify our FASTA file. The FASTA file is based on the organism that you uh, use for your data set, and uh, the FASTA file, you can um, download them uh, via the Uniprot website. Uh, if, if and uh, you can specify if you want uh, isoforms or not. That uh, it's up to you if you want to use them. In this case, we have a hist data set, so with a uh, hist organi uh, organism, so what I will do is that take my specific uh, max one, a FASTA file, sorry, this two, that uh, it's uh, the main one and the dish one uh, where uh, also the isoform uh, are included. And you can see that here you have the code of your organism, 55 and 92, 92 correspond to the hist one. I can just select them, open, and there it is. Uh, here also, um, as, as for the raw data, so you can see the Boolean section, that is true. It means that they recognize uh, your FASTA file. He Max Fund knows where they are. Uh, the taxonomy ID, the specific one of East, and the, organi the specific organism. So great, we have already the, our um, mm, FASTA file. For the rest, uh, we don't need uh, to change anything uh, because it's just a basic one, as I said, so we don't need uh, to specify any other uh, different uh, parami uh, parameters. For the protein quantification, here we need to take care about that, uh, the label minimum ratio count and uh, peptide for quantification. Label mi uh, minimum ratio count because we are talking about uh, a a label quantification, not a label free. So this one we need to pay attention on it if uh, we want to change it as default. We have uh, uh, S2, uh, so it means that uh, if uh, the minimum ratio between our quantification uh, is um, low than two, uh, it will not uh, report. It's up to two, it will report it. Then we have the peptide quantification. Here we can and define as unique, uh, unique plus resource, unique and uh, all. 
So when we specify the default one, the unique plus resource, means that uh, uh, MaxWant will uh, also detect the resource pe peptides that are the peptides that are shared uh, um, by the protein based on the protein group. What, I, what you will see in the MaxWant output is that you will have uh, for uh, each of your uh, set of experiments, uh, you have uh, one uh, specification in the, pr in, sorry, in the protein, protein groups uh, table. You will see uh, one uh, specification for the, the unique peptide and another one for the unique peptide plus razor. This is really useful and this is why also it's uh, by default uh, selected like this in MaxWant because for each protein that you have in your protein groups uh, you can compare these two parameters because maybe let's say with protein 1 you will have in uh, uh, unique peptides uh, uh, the count uh, it will be like uh, 1 but for unique peptides plus razor it will be like 10 so that means that uh, for that protein you have one unique and the rest are uh, resor pe peptides. So this is uh, really great because in this case, in this way, you can compare them. That's why, as I said, let's keep it as it is, uh, the default one, unique, unique plus razor. Then, uh, if you want, uh, you can specify specific modification, but here we can keep uh, the same modification that we have uh, in the default one, the one that we saw in the previous section, group uh, specific uh, parameters, so we can keep as it is. Here we don't if we don't have to specify anything different, uh, just uh, as it is. Here also we don't need to define something uh, specific. Here, if you if you want uh, to uh, specify some, uh, let's say. Um, Pick property, you can select it, but otherwise, uh, you also here there is nothing to change. What you need to pay attention is about the identification section. Uh, so, what uh, you want, what you want to su su to select in the FDR for uh, which is uh, for the discovery rate. Uh, here, by default, uh, we keep the minimum, so the one percent, zero point zero one. But uh, of course, uh, you can change it, uh, but. It's like pay attention of it if you change it because the uh, at uh, protein level, uh, if you will change the protein FDR and also then uh, also uh, peptide level, it will uh, change the identification of your protein and uh, peptides. We don't have to specify anything about label free quantification because in the previous section we didn't specify uh, uh, a quantification as label free. We can define a specific location where we, wa we want uh, our combined folder. So here, if we don't say anything, uh, it will generate automatic combined folder in the same folder where the raw data are. Uh, are. But uh, you can also specif specify a specific one. And there it is. So we specify everything. So we what we can do is that uh, just uh, press start but it, was, it, showed, uh, it shows this error. Why? Because you need Netcore 2.1 to uh, run uh, MaxWant. So let's see how to, how to install Netcore so that we can use this uh, MaxWant. And uh, we can do that going f to... Uh, so we can just simply search on Google Netcore install and it will open this uh, website. Uh, what we need is that as it was shown in the Maxon process, we need Netcore 2.1. So uh, go here on Netcore downloads, select the 2.1 and then we need the SDK 2.1 for Windows this is x64, so what we'll do is that uh, just click here and we have here the download. As soon as it finishes to download, we can install it. So we can install, let's press yes, and there it is. So now we can check if our max one we, uh, we can run our dataset, we can just press start 
and you can see that it's running the data set. So we will see all the step, uh, um, the performance of, our, of uh, Max and uh, running, uh, processing this data set. For now we stop because uh, we wish I will show you another, the other example, the LFU quantification. So I will just press stop and that's it. I will close this window, we open already just a new one because it's a, it's a new data set. So let's start from the beginning again, double click on the applica in application and there it is. So we have again our uh, max one. As before, we can load our uh, raw data. In this case, we have uh, six raw data so we and there it is. Uh, in exists uh, all of them are true, so great max one to recognize them, uh, the size is correct and they recognize all, all the fo format, perfect. Here in group zero we don't do any changes because it's uh, the same quantification, same uh, parameters that we use later so for all the raw data so we can keep it uh, as it is, uh, as it is in default and then set our experiment. So now what I can do is that uh, do manually as I did it before with a silent quantification, uh, manually uh, typing it with set of experiments, the set of experiments that I want. But uh, I can also write a template of it because let's say here we have just only six raw data, uh, but I can maybe have hundred of them. So type for each of raw data, it will take a lot of time. So uh, for that reason, we provide uh, uh, the possibility to write a template and then read the template that uh, you modified uh, via Excel or Excel or um, Notepad. Let's do that together so, so that you have an example of it. So first, so we, can, first we need to click on uh, write template and uh, he says, uh, Max and say to us that uh, he creates the um, experimental uh, uh, design template and he say also the directory where, uh, where it uh, is located. So we have it in labor free combined experimental ID design. So let's go directly there. We have it uh, in labor free that is this one combined and is this one. So it means that is this one. Wait, is generated. So from this one, now we can open it. We can open it as I say the, uh, in Notepad or uh, Excel. I prefer Excel because you have the cells uh, and the columns so it's better to define the template but it's up to you. So browse. We say that that is inside combine, label free combine so it's this one. And uh, we can say the name of our raw data, we, uh, we can see fraction and experiment. And here already we can say, uh, the uh, we can define uh, the, our experimental uh, template. What I will do is that I will uh, call them as they are called uh, in, uh, in name, but probably just remove the parts that are similar so that it will be a little bit uh, shorter the labor. Just like this. Here you can manage as you want because it's your data set and it's mostly and it's important because uh, as I said before uh, it, it uh, is the label that then uh, it will be used to label all uh, your information in the protein groups evidence file, all the, out, uh, all the files uh, that you have uh, as output. So it's uh, really important that uh, you uh, define as uh, you want uh, based on your data set. Here I decided to put it like this. I will save it. What I can do is just uh, read the, the file that uh, I modified right now. It's in the same directory as before, so labor free, combine, and it's here. I can just double click, and as you can see, I can, uh, I can see uh, I have my uh, experiments as I defined in the Excel uh, uh, file. So with, few mini uh, with uh, less time, I define uh, all the experiments that I want. 
Now, fraction, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a level of free quantification, so we don't need a fraction. So this one remains empty, it's not PTM, so it remains false. And the reference channel, it's uh, for TMT quantification, and this is level free, so also this one, it remains empty. Uh, for the other conf uh, features, uh, p uh, parameters that we need to change, uh, uh, the main difference that we need to take care about is about this one. So we have uh, one group. Uh, so here for the level three, we need uh, standard and uh, multiplicity is one because uh, multiplicity is one means no labels, so label three. If we uh, if we have any labels uh, specific level, we can uh, just select here. But in this case, we don't have, so it may, uh, we don't uh, check any of them. Mm, modification we keep as it was before. We need here to specify the label free quantification, so from non LFQ. And here we keep as it is, so we can play around with them that uh, if you want, but uh, uh, based on the runs that we have done uh, until now, we found that these uh, default uh, parameters are the best to use. So f as first uh, run, we suggest to use uh, this. Uh, then the rest it doesn't change. And uh, in global parameters, we can uh, check if we need want to change uh, uh, something in the uh, label free quantification. But plus, uh, if we want uh, the match between runs, we need to go to identification, click in here, match between uh, runs, checkbox. And uh, uh, Max want to run uh, your LFQ um, quantification using match between runs. Uh, for group parameters, always in, uh, with all data set, we need our FASTA file because we need to specify uh, the organism. In this case, uh, we will use the same FASTA file because we have uh, the same uh, organism, the HIST. So I'm going here and I'm selecting my FASTA files. And there it is. They are recognized. It's true. So everything is ready. And uh, as before, I can just press start and uh, the process will start. And there it is. This is for the LFQ quantification. For now, we stop this one. And let's go to the TMT quantification. So now I will show you the example using a DDA dataset with a TMT uh, quantification. Let's open MaxWant as usual. Okay, and there it is. Now we do the example of uh, when we have a TMT quantification. First, uh, as usual, let's load our uh, uh, raw data. In this case, we have, we have this four. We just open and that's it. Max want to recognize them, so our uh, exist is true, great. We have the sites and uh, also the format, perfect. We don't have to change the uh, group because it's just only quantification and all uh, specific modification are all the same for all uh, raw data. But we need to change the set of experiments so that in this case, we will put just for now to specify each row data, it's each uh, set of experiments, we will specify just set one, then set two, until four, and that's it. And there it is. We don't have any fraction, so fraction remains as, as it is, empty. It's not PTM, so it remains false, perfect. And here we have reference channel. Reference channel, it's uh, for a specific, when we have such kind of data set, when uh, one of the reference channel, it's a mixture of the samples. Or, uh, or if uh, such kind of case where we want uh, to uh, use a specific normalization that is uh, in ma uh, max one that is called uh, PCM. Uh, for such kind of uh, uh, case, uh, we, uh, we provide uh, during the summer school uh, um, a lecture of that uh, that is called uh, isobaric labeling. So when you want to use uh, uh, this reference channel plus the normalization, please uh, uh, join to the summer school first and uh, uh, pay attention to that uh, lecture. In this case, we are talking about a ba really basic uh, TMT uh, quantification, so we don't use this one.
Let's go to group specific, uh, group specific, and we need to specify the TMT. In this case, we have uh, MS2, so we will use a report ion uh, MS2. If it was MS3, definitely the MS3. It's MS2, it's 8, imp eight plex, so double click on 8 plex, and there it is. Uh, there is the filter. Here we can uh, um, decide if we want to use, we can select it, and it will tell us the minimum that uh, it will uh, detect it by max one. We can change it, but uh, by default we decided to put uh, this one at 0 0.75, and for this example we will keep the, this one. Uh, for the rest, it remains the same. This specific uh, situation, normalization, it's uh, referred to the, what I said before, the PCM normalization. So also for th this one, it, it can be used in such kind of case, uh, but uh, um, we have a specific lecture for that uh, during the summer school. So for now, uh, it will remain none. We don't, uh, we don't use a specific uh, ratio or weight and ratio. So let's leave it as uh, uh, none. Nothing uh, will be changed here because it's not labor free. This remains the same for this uh, um, data set. It's always arbitrary. So nothing will change. Here also there is isobaric weight exponent. That is also this one referred to the PCM uh, normalization that we have in max one. But as I said, here we don't use uh, so this one. Even if it's here, uh, because we didn't select a normalization, Max want will not use, so we don't consider this one. Uh, we need to add uh, our FASTA file, so let's add our FASTA file that in this case uh, um, we have mus musculus, here it is. Uh, Max want uh, detected the, our uh, FASTA file, it's true, so perfect. Nothing to change here, protein quantification uh, solution. Uh, this one, as I said at the beginning, better to use uh, unique plus razor. Uh, nothing to change, it's not labor free. We want our combined folder in the same folder where raw data are, uh, is, so it's okay like this. So we can uh, directly say start. Press start. And the, um, the process uh, um, is starting. Let's start uh, with the Teams DDA uh, example. We need to load our uh, files. We can, in this case, it's not a thermal uh, raw file uh, format, format, but it's the fo uh, format that ends with .d. For this time, uh, I will show you how to upload uh, using load folder, but you can also select manually uh, this one. I would like to show you load folder because until now I upload uh, via manually, so let's use also the uh, other possibility. I will go to the directory, team is TLFQ, I have here them, so this is the folder and just press OK, OK again, and as you see, Max wanted to read the, he read the folder, Recognize the uh, files, uh, uh, the correct uh, files, uh, broker uh, team stuff. And there it is. Here also we can set the experiments. Uh, for now I, s I will use a, a simple one. Group zero, it is uh, one, quanti one kind of quantification, no different uh, uh, qu um, pa uh, parameters to change or quantification to change, so it's okay like this, uh, no fraction. And it's not TMT, so we don't need to specify any anything to, to the reference channel. It's a uh, Teams DEA LFQ, so what I have to ch uh, change is that go here, and as type I have, I have uh, um, Teams DDA, and for the rest, it's just as it, it's a LFQ, so I will select LFQ. But for the rest, it remains the same. I have to add the f uh, uh, my FASTA file, that in this case are human. Nine, um, 9606 is uh, human. Exactly, and uh, in fact, they recognize your FASTA file, taxonomy D and organism, Homo sapiens. 
um, everything is correct. Uh, I recognize uh, directly the uh, broker teams. Uh, so here you can double check, but uh, when uh, you upload uh, your data, Max Hunt directly will change uh, your, the instrument, uh, but always better to check. Any anything to change here? Globe parameters, we don't need to change anything here. Uh, so we can just uh, run our, our data. Let's press start. And it will start our process. So now I will show you how to uh, do the partial processing. So let's say you uh, started a, a max and run, but then you stopped. And you don't want to start from the beginning, but you want to start from the step where you stopped. It's possible to do that in max one, but you need to take care about the specific uh, um, steps. So here I'm running a data set. This is the LFQ uh, example that I showed you before. It's running, uh, uh, I will stop, okay? So I stopped. I'm closing everything. And now I want to uh, open again. So I want to do the partial processing. So first, I will double click on MaxWant. Okay. What we need to do is not to lo load the raw data or load the raw data um, defining the directory of the folder, but clicking on File, Load the Parameters, and select the max par file of our uh, run. So, for example, we have the we have the data set that I was running in this folder. And uh, MaxWant, uh, uh, when you define uh, uh, all your experimental design in MaxWant, it's automatically save uh, the MaxPar file. So uh, what you have to do is that just double click on this one, on this file, and it will open again uh, uh, the experimental design that uh, you had. So here are my raw data, and here, for example, the LFQ quantification already selected. If I press run now, it will restart from the beginning, but I don't want to do that. I want to do that a partial processing. So what I need to do is that, okay, I have uh, my experimental design uh, load on MaxWant, great. What I have to do together with this one is that go to the folder where I have uh, my raw data, so my, and my process at the same time. So that in my case, I have here in this folder partial processing. I have to do go to the combined folder, process, and here we see all the steps that MaxWant uh, uh, does in the performance uh, uh, section here. What I can see is that I will uh, reorder them based on the data modified. I can see that it finished the red search in results for uh, recalibration but, and it started the mass recalibration, but it didn't finish. So, what I will do is that instead to start it again, I will go to partial processing. And here I have all the steps that uh, MaxOne does uh, during your uh, run. So, and I can find the uh, read the search uh, research for recalibration and the mass recalibration. I will definitely not rest, uh, restart the, uh, my partial processing in mass uh, recalibration, but I will do it from the previous Why? Because it's, co it's also correct to start again from mass recalibration, but it's always better to start from the previous one that it was finished, just to be sure that MaxWant will do all the steps correctly. So. Uh, MaxWant uh, in this case uh, finish the read search results for recalibration. So I will click on this one, the same step on MaxWant, and press OK. And as you can see, I will see that uh, I can see that MaxWant is running again, but it's running from the step that I select, and it will finish uh, our, our process. So that is uh, really, really simple to do that uh, and uh, really, let's say, usable. It's really uh, useful sometimes uh, uh, when 
when you need to stop uh, for other priorities uh, for other data sets. So this is all for this course. Uh, as you saw, I'll show you the example of the partial uh, processing uh, uh, on Windows, so using as operating system Windows. But uh, Maxwant is also uh, possible to use uh, on Linux. For that reason, we provide a specific video to show you how to run a data set uh, in Maxwant uh, on, on Linux. So if you have such kind of case, please uh, uh, check uh, uh, that video. That is always in, in this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy the other courses uh, and uh, enjoy the summer school. <laughs>